Gold Rats, The Goal, Chapter 14. Uh, we're coming off this Chapter 13, which is a tour de force that becomes uh, a well-known literary topic around the world, around manufacturing sites. Uh, everybody knows the story of Herbie's scout hike. It all starts when Gold Rod's son, David, uh, takes his dad as the volunteer adult on a scout hike. And what Goldrot follows it up with here in chapter 14 is just a dud of a chapter. So imagine instead, now we're doing the kind of operations game that you would do in a manufacturing course for an MBA program, or maybe as a team building exercise with a supply chain team. And what Goldrat has our narrator, Alex Rogo, do is do that same kind of dice game around a board that he just makes up on the fly with the same scout troop as they get to where they're going that night to, to camp out. So in exchange for trying to win this game, which he talks about playing a couple cycles of, and again, it's all about teaching the reader, uh, about Rogo teaching the scout troop, and about Rogo exploring this topic on his own about these two major con concepts of dependent events and statistical fluctuations. So, you know, what we're doing here is, again, teaching with the Socratic method, teaching by the spiral, and Goldrot is giving you, the reader, a stick and pointing at a dead horse and saying, uh, play this dice game, and we're just going to drive home this event that with dependent events and statistical fluctuations, it's very hard to predict results, and that the error rate accumulates over time. It doesn't average out. You can't make up time as you go if you've got a, a fat Herbie in your troop and he constrains the pace at which the whole troop completes its hike. Instead, you've just got to deal with the fact that he is the dependent event and that the troop cannot complete its operation, its walk, unless Herbie completes his walk. Um, there are a couple interesting quotes in this. Um, you know, the one I always like is uh, he. Uh, Goldrot writes uh, through Rogo's eyes, and the system gets further and further behind schedule. Um, the game is real simple. It's like they're trying to predict inventory. Um, and the, the observation then is uh, the, the scouts that are friends of Davies, uh, Andy and Ben are two of the names that are used. Uh, Rogo's observation is if this had been an actual plant, half of our orders or more would have been late, uh, which at this point, again, we've, we've introduced this topic in a really interesting way with the quick trip that Rogo takes to visit Jonah in New York that in, in introduces this concept. We really articulated it clearly in chapter 13 with introducing the scout hike and good for us is we're going to roll straight into chapter 15 where Rogo takes the reader back to that scout hike, right? They've, they've hiked in, we've done the boring dice game in chapter 14, and in chapter 15, we're gonna hike out. And with that hike out, we're gonna go back through the two major concepts, again, dependent events and statistical fluctuations in a much clearer way. And with that, you really should grasp the topic. Go buy the book, go read it directly, appreciate all the reads here, appreciate all the reads on the website online that I've had through the years. But this is a great book, it doesn't take long to read and you'll get as much out of reading it as you do from listening to me here. Thanks, and again, you're gonna love this book. It's gonna make everything you do at work and in your life better.